Hello, everybody. I've been working on some projects in virtual reality using A-Frame and 3JS to create some interactive experiences for Quest VR headsets, and I made this video to share them with you. All of the source code is available on GitHub, and there will be a link in the description. But let's begin. The first example improves movement in an A-frame scene and interaction with different objects. So you can visit this page in your Quest browser and click on the VR button to create an interactive experience. And the first thing you'll notice is this looks a lot like the Quest Home menu from the controller. You can see a gradient representing a beam showing where you're pointing. And whenever you point at an object, that object will actually be illuminated. And you can see a cursor showing you the point, a specific point you're pointing at with your controller. There's also improved interaction with objects. Whenever you press the trigger or the grip button, you'll see the color of the beam changes. And there's built-in support for grabbing. If you press the grip button, you can optionally grab an object. And then, in addition to moving it around, you can pull it towards you or push it away from you using the right joystick. So you can get a closer look at objects. And then put them back when you're done. In addition, I've been working on easier movement controls. You can specify a mesh to move around on, and if you point to that mesh, you'll see an indicator, which means you can teleport to a certain point in your scene. Optionally, you can also use first-person style movement. Using the left controller joystick, you can move backwards or forwards, left or right, and forwards is whatever direction you're looking towards. Optionally, while you're moving, you can press the trigger to control the speed of movement, so you can move away quickly or slowly, completely up to you. Also, if you hold the grip button down, the left joystick can then be used to move you up or down in your scene. And pressing it left or right will rotate you in increments of 45 degrees. So those are the new motion controls I've been working on. And now for content, one thing I've been working on is a music player. All the code is available in a component. And everything's loading up. As we enter in VR, it has your standard controls for playing a song. You can play, you can turn the volume up, you can turn the volume down, you can advance to the next song. And for each song, you can specify cover art and text which will appear. There are different play modes. You can play a song once, you can set a song to loop forever, or you can have it play through the entire list of songs. Once it gets to the end of the list, We'll just start back over at the beginning. And so now you can also play music easily in your scenes. The next component I've been working on is an interactive book reader. It turns PDF files into interactive books using the pdf.js library. In this example, you can grab a book and you can bring it towards you. You can click on a book with a right trigger and the book opens up. This green light above the spine of the book indicates that your player movement is disabled and instead you can use the controls on your Quest controllers to flip through the pages of a book. You can use the buttons or the joysticks to flip through and read different pages of a book. 
If you click on the book again with a right trigger, you can move around once more. And when you're done with the book, you can of course close it and put away to read another time. Saving my favorite new demo for last. I also like doing video game development. And I've been working on a separate project called the Basic Adaptable Game Engine Library, or Bagel for short. It's yet another game engine library. But I've been working on a component that allows you to take games created in this library and play them on an interactive model in an A-frame scene. And so entering this demo, I've got my gamepad component. And if I click on this, it becomes active. That power light turns to green. And everything you do with your Quest controllers, right, if I push the joysticks or push different buttons, right, you can see the buttons lighting up as I press them. Or as I move the joysticks, you can see those controllers moving. But the best part is, this is a completely interactive game. Right, so I've made a Asteroids-inspired game. When you're ready to start, just follow the instructions on the screen, and you can play. And again, because your controls are being mapped to this game, when the game is active, indicated by that green light, you can't use the player movement controls. But if you click on the gamepad again with the right trigger, you can move around your scene once more. That also pauses the game for you. So now you can play games inside a virtual reality.